Hey, hi, welcome. This is what I'm going to look like for the majority of this video, and I hope that that's okay. Your girl spent a lot of money on some Charlotte Tilbury goodies. I went to an event. That's right, your girl was there. I was one of the cool kids, which is a very rare occurrence. At Saks, obviously, and it was Charlotte Tilbury because now Charlotte Tilbury is sold at Saks. Charlotte Tilbury herself walked us through her infamous products and couldn't help myself. You know, Charlotte, aside from being just like an innovative mogul, innovative, innovative, I don't know how you say that, innovative, I will say, a mogul and just like an amazing makeup artist, she is a wonderful saleswoman because I'm pretty sure that woman could sell me anything. I unboxed everything already. If you want to see my unboxing video, I uploaded it to Instagram, TikTok, and I think on YouTube too. I'll put the link up here. Lip collagen. Oh, this is in Pillow Talk. And this is tinted, and this plumps the lips a little bit. It gives a really nice shine. I do really love the applicator and the shade of it, but I typically go in with the clear NYX Filler Instinct lip gloss prior to applying my makeup because it just like fills the lips super beautifully. No offense, Charlotte Tilbury. The rest of this video is about you, and I'm sure it will be nothing but me screaming from the mountaintops that I am obsessed. Cryo Recovery Eye Serum by Charlotte Tilbury. I've had this for quite a long time. It is really nice. This is a really good product, and I do really like it. It's a little pricey though. It looks really good under makeup, so long as you give it a little bit of time to dry. I didn't want to buy this just because I have so many foundations, but like when she put this this foundation on top of the foundation I was already wearing, my skin looked flawless. And we're talking like on top of that foundation that had already been set with powder. I was impressed. It's made in Italy. And Mike always jokes with me, like when something's made in Italy, automatically in my head, that makes the value of it go up by $200 standard made in Italy. So I'm actually very happy that I bought this now. But before we hop into this, I forgot that I had this, the Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. I'm the shade Fair which I did, ow, I just scratched myself, which I did self tan last night, but I don't tan my face. Look at this difference. Who watches, what is her face? What's her name? Meredith, she's like a big TikTok chick that she's like infamous for throwing the foundation all over her face and it's like a pound and a half of foundation and then she blends it in and she looks absolutely flawless at the end of everything. She actually was invited to the Charlotte Tilbury event prior to the event that I was at, but it was cool because I got to see all of her Charlotte Tilbury content and her makeup was amazing, but she uses like a pound and a half of this product. I like to apply as little makeup as possible. I wanna put a little bit more in the sections of my face where I want a little extra shine, just like right here, I think. And my chin a little bit more because a girl doesn't have a chin. I was actually joking with Mike last night that if we ever reproduced, our child would have absolutely no chin because we are a no chin family. You make the best out of what you got, right? So I'm just pushing and pressing this into the skin. Look at that shine, damn girl. This pairs beautifully with a light coverage foundation. So for my light coverage babes out there who want a little bit more dew and a little bit more shine in your skin, I would definitely recommend this. This is really pretty. I'm in the shade four, and we said this is Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is the new one, the hot one that everyone loves. And I'm gonna place it in the areas where I don't want or I don't need that shine to be so shiny. And I'm gonna pat this, I think. I was with this, this woman, a beautiful makeup artist. Oh my God, I loved her so much. I think I had the best time simply because she was so amazing. Oh my God, I follow her on Instagram. She's fabulous. I will link her socials down below if you're looking for another beautiful makeup artist to follow. Yeah, this is really, really nice. I do, I really like this, yep, yep. For brows, I used my Gucci Brow Pencil and I used the NARS Creamy and Concealer. I'm in the shade Madeline. So that is what is on my face. Back to our paid programming. I'm wearing a really cute dress that I am renting from Rent the Runway. DVF, super cute. We'll link it down below. However, I'm very afraid to use this product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. While I love the product, she is a hot effing mess. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. 
Now I'm going to put the cap on so she does not ruin my life because that is typically how she does. I'm just patting this into my skin using a Visanti concealer buffer brush. Just because a brush says it's for one thing does not mean you can't use it for multiple things. You need to move quickly because this bad boy will dry. I need to buff and blend, buff and blend. We always wanna blend up. You don't wanna bring the contour down. That's gonna drag your whole face down. Let's hop into this nude gasm palette. I've done a review video on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and sculpt my face using this. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I love it, super convenient, expensive. It's like a ton of money. Do I think you need it? No, cooler contour shade in here and a complex cheek chiseler, which is so appropriate. And I'm gonna stand to help set the contour that we just put down. That was a liquid, so I don't wanna move it. Look at the skin though. The skin, guys, looks insane. This is one side of my face set using the Nudegasm face palette. And then just for those of you who are curious, this is the Hollywood contour wand by itself. I like this better. I just think this looks more put together. It looks more natural. This kind of tones down the wand a bit in like the most perfect way. On quick days where I'm not spending a lot of time on my makeup and I don't need my makeup to last me a good 12 hours, this is totally doable, feasible, and just put it in the crease of my eye just to help give a little bit of definition to start that process. I don't wanna do too crazy of an eye look today. Morphe E3 that I've had for the longest time. I'm gonna take the darker shade and I'm gonna pat this over top of where I just contoured, but like in a less precise area. This is going to help mix everything together further while also bronzing the skin a little bit. Can you see just like how more natural that looks than this? It's like soft airbrush finish as opposed to this side, which still looks good. I'm not knocking it. It's all about preference. That's what makeup is all about. And we can all like different things. That's fine. If we all like different things, we can all learn from one another and we can grow. This is the only blush I have from Charlotte. Okay, we'll hop into the blush. It's like shimmery though. I don't like love me a shimmery blush, but it's pretty. I can't say that it's not pretty. Pretty. Throw that into the crease as well. I've just been throwing everything into the crease lately and it's kind of been my vibe. Nice blush though, see? Look at this side. And look at this side. Mm. First and foremost, y'all know, I have no business buying this because I have so many Laura Mercier translucent powders. No matter what happens after using this, Laura, you have my heart. I love you forever and always. You are the OG, whether this is better than you or not. But I don't think it's gonna be. I don't know why. Airbrush Flawless finish. I feel like this looks very light. However, your girl wanted a brightening powder just because I'm getting darker as I get older. Taking the concealer out of my creases, I'm going to do one side of my face so we can compare. That just like really brightened up my under eyes. Mm. Let's see what it looks like with a puff. It should be illegal to use a Laura Mercier powder puff with a different powder. Oh, it looks way better with the powder puff. Clean up and just bake for a hot second, a little bit. Oh my God, Laura, I'm so sorry, but I love, I love this, I think. Just to clean up the sides of my nose, I do this all the time. And I'm gonna clean up underneath my contour. The foundation is kind of settling into my pores. I think next time I'll use a pore filling primer. Wow, love this. I was gonna buy the Charlotte Tilbury facial mist, but I didn't because I have no business when I have like 30 of these in back stock. Pillow Talk eyeliner, cause I really love it so much. And this is one of my favorite eyeliners. The only thing I don't like about Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners is that they don't stay sharp very long because they're so creamy. So I need to sharpen this. Keep it skinny. Like an elongated, pretty little wing. What does that even mean? Sometimes I say things and I'm like, why 
Where did I get that from? If you ever have issues getting your wings to look even, these are not totally even. However, they were really scary uneven. And then I went and looked in my full length mirror in my closet. I just find a full length mirror it helps me really get the wings to be a little bit better. Try it if you haven't tried it. This is probably the most exciting thing that I bought and I don't even know why I'm so excited about it because I don't even really wear highlight anymore. Like this would be how I end it because it's so pretty. Like just such a natural shining beaming kind of highlight, but it's not a powdery beaming highlight. Does that make sense? Like I feel like these are not really in anymore, but when I went to the event and she put this on my eyes, she took pink shade and this one has a little bit of like a purple iridescence to it. I just feel like it goes with the outfit a bit. And a little bit of this in the inner corner, the white shade, and then a little bit of the champagne on my cheek. I just feel like this is a very multifunctional product and we all know how I feel about multifunctional products. I love them. Love, love, love them. And this is called Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter and I chose Romance Light. What am I gonna put it on with? I'm gonna take that same powder brush that we used before. Champagne shade right here. I almost like don't even wanna touch this. And I'm gonna, oh, bitch. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Okay, this side or this side. Like this is definitely more natural, but this is just, oh, I love it though. I'm putting some on, on the brow bone just to like tie all of that in together. It's not picking up any of the texture in my skin, like any of the pores. Oh wow, that's really good. White blinding shade. I'm gonna put her right, oh, oh. Oh my God, can you see what that just did? I'm so happy I bought this. She's awake, she's woke. She's awake, she's woke. She's ready for life. Under here, oh my God, guys. Stop. Over here too. Take a mixture of these two on my finger and just throw it on the lid. Keeping it to the inner portion. Oh my god, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. Protein out. Oh yeah, I had some protein. Somebody getting some guns. Gun fuel. Right. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna eat a salad. Or eat some of my bronzer. Yeah, I'm gonna come down in like five minutes. I'm hungry. Like a real five minutes yeah. or a fortune five? No more real five. <laughs> Okay, so a lot has happened since I last saw you. I took about an hour and a half break. And so I have some thoughts on the products that we used, but before we get into that, let us go ahead and finish off this makeup look. So I did curl my lashes. I threw on mascara, iconic nude lip liner. This is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury shade. I gotta be honest, I am not the biggest Charlotte Tilbury lip liner fan. If you go over the line one too many times, it will start to build up and kind of pill and it goes on kind of patchy. Personally, for me, I am a MAC lip liner kind of gal and a NYX lip liner kind of gal, but Charlotte has great shades. I love this color. This is like the perfect nude lip liner shade for moi. I've said many a times, I just gravitate towards Charlotte Tilbury's products. I feel like it's because of the way that they look. I feel like the packaging is so good and I'm a big packaging freak. Red Carpet Red by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just gonna dab it like that. And maybe I'll use a lip collagen to just like tone it back while also plumping it. Oh God, this is just like such a good color. I also didn't use these brushes. How silly, but look how cute. It's like a nice velvet packaging with a magnetic closure. Thank you, Charlotte. This was a free gift. Lip collagen bath, but this is in my personal favorite, Refresh Rose. Did I also mention that I had a glass of Chianti during lunch? All tips. All right, guys, this is the finished makeup look. What do we think? What do we think? Let me know down below in the comments. I mean, I am glowing. 
my skin looks really great. I asked Mike how my makeup looked. I was just like, babe, you know, how's my makeup look? And he said, heavy, it looks like you're wearing a lot of makeup. I am wearing a lot of makeup. I'm wearing a lot more makeup than I normally wear too. So he's not wrong. For your average everyday, wanna look really natural throw on, I think that you could get away with using these products, but maybe not all of them together. Flawless filter. Let me just say, I think this is nice. However, the next time that I use it, I think I'm just going to concentrate it in the areas of my face. Like, look at that highlight though. Damn. I think I'm just going to concentrate this in the areas of my face where I want a little bit of glow. So here, a little bit on my chin, because again, I don't have a chin. So give us a little bit more of a chin. I love the glow between the brows. I'm just, I'm loving the glow. However, my skin feels like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. My skin just feels like there's a lot and it's not really sticky. I just, I don't know. You know, I'm just, I'm wearing more makeup than I normally wear. Okay. That's not a bad thing, but maybe I'm just not used to it. It's going to look beautiful on my vanity. So no complaints in terms of that. But if I do want to make this my summer, go from place to place to place, throw it in my little summer travel bag, because I do go between home and the office and the shore home and vacations and trips and so on and so forth a lot during the summer. This is heavy to carry. I want to do a wear test. Let me know if you want to see a wear test of this. I feel like it would be nice if I paired it with less product. This highlighter, I really like this. I'm not really into highlighters again, but just it did a lot. And I love how I'm going to use this a lot more as an eyeshadow. I have to say, I think the star of the show today is this powder. Oh my God, guys, this is so good. And I think this is a beautiful kind of powder to clean things up. It brightens, it cleans. I just think this is going to be my new, it's going to be my new staple. I'm sorry, Laura. It has a little bit of coverage in it, which I think is what makes it so good. Cause you can go ahead and take away a bit of shine while also covering. Oh my God, guys, this makeup is fabulous. I love it. If you love it as much as I do, do be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments section. What do you like from this video? What do you dislike from this video? Do you like a makeup look like this? Do you like a more natural makeup look? I would love to hear from you. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell. Check out the videos that I'm going to leave at the end of this video as well. So you can get caught up on all there is to know here on Faces by Fortune. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.